So by now you're probably wondering what is leading me to do a lot of these videos in this studio section. Whew. The reason why is I've been having to do this a lot in the studios is because of the fact that um, the days have been a little bit slow. I haven't really been doing much or having much to film. And so um, I, I still want to record though to make sure that I'm keeping up with everything. And obviously uh, it's still becoming a lot to do, a lot to keep up with. But at the same time though, um, I'm trying to make sure I just maintain this. Um, the reason why I want to maintain it is because it's giving me my life once again a sense of consistency and consistency is very important when it comes to uh, anything really like any type of growth you want to do any type of progress you want to make um, it's better to just be consistent as possible so like I'm not really making the like the different camera angles that I'm usually making or I'm not really doing um, as much as I normally would or could do but I am really trying to make sure that I stay at it and stay uploading and stay consistent because that's something I really am trying to do and it's something I really struggle with. Um, I will say when I first started Nerd Torch Cafe and that was when um, I needed something different and I thought it would be a good thing for myself and my personal growth uh, to start a brick and mortar business because of the fact that it will help me get to a point where uh, consistency is a is a norm. Um, growing up, consistency was not very easy for me to maintain, and it's something that I recognize as an issue, and it's something that I'm I battle against. I'm, I'm actively forcing myself to continue to go and do stuff and grow um, on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's why I started the daily vlog, and so. That is kind of pushing me to make sure I'm still doing stuff. And um, at least I'm doing something every day. You know, every day I got the editing program open. I'm editing, I'm, I'm making something that's going to get published somewhere. And that has been uh, greatly helpful to me. Um, if you can do 1% better every day, uh, by the end of the year, you are 365% better than you were at the start of the year and um, you become faster at it you become better you become just overall just prolific at uh whatever it is that thing is whether you're a, an artist who draws or a person that does photography um, or a person like me that does video your camera if you're a photographer or a videographer your camera should be in your hand every day like period your camera should be the your best friend it should be your number one tool. It should just be there so that you can always take shots and pictures of stuff that's happening on a day-to-day -day basis with you. Um, I envy people who have a mindset of consistency. Um, it, consistency is something that I personally have to try for. Like I actually have to put an effort into making sure, okay, I got to make sure I knock this out today. I got to make sure I do this. And um, I got to make sure I maintain this today, you know, and it's something that is very difficult, very, very difficult <laughs> for me and my brain and my mindset. But um, I try to put little tools in place to kind of help me, um, because if you could just do a little bit every day, you're just going to get better. Um, just like I was telling you guys how, you know, I shot an Instagram video that led into like a paid job. Like that's because I was consistent. I'm all, I'm consistently posting, and so people see that they see the quality. And also, like um, when I said that I got on the on the Facebook page, uh, Black Star Press News. Like that's something was that came out of me being consistent and posting every day. So, <laughs> so like I'm really excited to see like what more can consistency do for me. Um, and I'm, I'm really gonna make sure that I don't get burned out on it and so that's why I like shooting in the studio is very helpful for me because it doesn't put me in a position of where I have to go out and do something I'm not forcing myself but I know that I have to have the discipline to sit down and record even if I don't want to and so that is um, very helpful um, some ways I'm gonna be planning on being consistent 
is over on my other channels and stuff. It's called Nerd Torch TV. Um, it's how I started my cafe, my gaming cafe, Nerd Torch Cafe. I started as a vlogger first on those platforms, on all, all those social media pr profiles, Nerd Torch TV. And then I started growing until I started doing celebrity interviews and then eventually I wanted to open up a physical store. And so I plan on going back to also being consistent on those platforms. So one thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, starting a community stream. It's where we're going to be streaming um, interesting games or games that I find interesting that I think that the community will find interesting. We're going to be streaming interesting games with uh, a lot of people in our gaming community um, from midnight to 3 a.m. So we normally game for personal leisure at those times um, after the day is over with, but we're going to do our best to try to maintain a daily schedule, maybe not even daily, like maybe it might be a Monday to Friday thing and take weekends off, you know, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know what the schedule is going to look like yet. But I do know that it's something that I do want to try to be more active on social media back on Nerd Toys TV yet again. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and uh, one of the games that we're going to be playing, and I'm really excited about playing, is a game called Nicktoons Unite. Um, it's like a dungeon crawler, kind of like Diablo, or Diablo, where you play as either uh, Jimmy Neutron, Timmy Turner, uh, Danny Phantom or Spongebob and you go through like these different levels and you solve puzzles and different things like that It's four players simultaneously and we're gonna be playing on the GameCube and I'm really Hyped about being able to play that game again and share that to some of the gamers here Because it is definitely a game that I'm pretty sure a lot of them have never heard of before But I know they'll love it and so that's something I'm really excited about and so man um, another, let's see, what else games we're gonna play? Probably gonna play some Zoids, um, just to go down memory lane and talk about how Nintendo used to be, um, they used to license other intellectual properties in order to make content off of them. So they used to make, they made a, game, a Zoids game, which was really fun, and I loved that game a lot, and definitely is worth uh, picking that game back up and playing it. Um, gotta play some. Uh, some of the Naruto fighting games, those are really cool. But I, I'm really, like, I grew up with a lot of those games, and I don't know if they'll still hold up as far as, like, if they're good or not. But um, we'll find out and see what the community thinks if these games are actually worth playing, if they're actually good, if they deserve a remaster. Like, it's very interesting, like, especially from a content creator standpoint. Especially because eventually I do want to make video games as well. I do think that's going to be something that's going to be really awesome to take a look at these past games and see kind of like what the, how to get, just how games evolved over time. So I'm really excited about that. But um, man, the vlog is evolving, man. It's crazy. Uh, and I'm getting better at talking too. I, I, I realize that. Especially like doing these videos in the studio, I'm getting better at talking, um, my communication is more fluent. Um, I am just keeping a good pace for the videos. So I'm really liking like what I'm able to do and what I'm able to accomplish. And when I'm playing it back and I'm editing it, I love how it sounds. And so like I want to just pat myself on the back there because like it is very cohesive, it's very like I move through conversation really well. I'm a very, I got to get the gap, you know, I got to get the gap, so I might as well use it. So, <laughs> but I'm really excited, it's gonna be a good time. Um, and it's, it's just so important to like, just be consistent. And like, um, if anything you take out of this video, consistency is key, because it is amazing. Like, um, and the fact that we've been going strong at it, Nerd Torch Cafe, we've been, we've been going ham like since, but like we about to, we're going into our sixth year coming up uh, in August. We're gonna hit our sixth year, like a six year old birthday, and that is freaking insane. Like it's almost crazy. Like uh, we survived the pandemic. Um, now a recession is coming, and so we're going through that. We're going through that as well, and uh, like we're just trucking along man and it's, it's 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 definitely a struggle at times but the community has our back that's something we definitely appreciate and are very thankful for and like um 
Like, we definitely want to put more back out there to the community and grow the business and grow the community and just just have a good time while doing it. You know, who says you can't have fun at work? <laughs> um, I think those are all the thoughts I wanted to get out today. Um, some of the things that I'm just being consistent in. Um, I think I'm gonna do some more photography stuff. Ooh, I'm gonna do a photo album. Ah. So me and the wife, we did a photo album years ago. We did a couple photo albums, but I like this one. This one's like really cool. Um, like these are some of the pictures we took. And this is just our personal pictures for like like family photo albums, stuff like that. It's a picture book. But um, I really love what this has done or what this book even looks like. You know, it's beautiful. And um, I think I'm gonna do something similar to this book for my photography work. There's really no reason for me to print my photos other than I just like it. Like, <laughs> I just like having the physical copy. I'm an old man in that sense, you know. I just love having a physical copy of things. Like, the manga I created, I got a physical copy of it. Um, a lot of, like, my first album, when I did that, I got physical copies of that. I still got physical copies of that laying around. Um, and photo books, like, I have, like, uh, my photography work and it'll just be for me, and it'll just be physical copy. So, um, I don't know, I just like being able to hold it and be like, look, I made this. This is like a testament of my skill, and this is like evidence that I started in one skill level and one skill bracket and made it out to like the next thing, and I'm really happy about that. Um, it's gonna be fun, can't wait. Uh, I'm gonna be posting like some of the pictures here as well so you guys can see. Um, definitely check out my Instagram. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can like see some of my photography work there. It'll be in my highlights. And uh, man, I came a long way with a camera. Like it's, it's just insane. Anyway, I'm out. I've been I've been ranting for a minute now, but your boy is out of here. I love you guys. Future me, keep being awesome. I hope that the me now can look out for you in the future. Uh, and yeah, I'm out. Peace.